What is White Star Service and why do Cunard crew wear White Star pins on their lapels? Cunard and White Star were known throughout history as being rivals on the North Atlantic. White Star decided quite early on to step away from the transatlantic race for speed, leaving that to ships like Lusitania and Mauritania to capture the Blue Riband. And rather, White Star Line would focus on offering a highly luxurious, very attentive service for first class passengers and a high quality of accommodation and service for those in second class and steerage or later tourist class. So this was a differentiator between the two brands. I'm not saying that Cunard wasn't luxurious for those people with the money to pay for it, but White Star was quite often regarded as having a higher quality of service on board. The two organizations were rivals up until the Great Depression, when the financial burden of the depression forced both companies to approach the British government for financial support. Now, the British government didn't want to support two weak British shipping companies, but did want to maintain a strong British shipping company on the North Atlantic. So they offered to provide support for the two organizations, which in Cunard's case meant that they could complete Queen Mary, which was under construction at John Brown's shipyard at the time, and build a running mate, which ultimately became the Queen Elizabeth. But it also meant that the Cunard and White Star brands could be saved. The catch was that the two companies had to merge. And so in 1933, the two organizations entered into merger negotiations, which were completed in 1934, creating Cunard White Star Line. That's why you see on much of the advertising for Queen Mary's launch, Queen Elizabeth's uh, maiden peacetime voyage, you'll see Cunard White Star branding used throughout uh, the Cunard marketing because the two companies merged together and they traded under the Cunard White Star name. Now, in the post-war era, Cunard bought out the remainder of White Star's holding in the company and dropped the White Star branding. So why did it come back? Why is there White Star pins on Cunard crew's uniforms? Well, this all comes down to the 1998 acquisition of Cunard by Carnival. Hot off the heels of the success of the movie Titanic by James Cameron, and people were sort of looking back at the past with nostalgia, thinking about transatlantic shipping voyages and the romance of being on board a transatlantic liner. Now, when Carnival acquired Cunard in 1998, Cunard had a very diverse fleet. There was QE2, which was a British-based transatlantic liner, as you would expect from Cunard. But they also had the Royal Viking Sun, a Scandinavian-style cruise ship. They had the Vistafjord, a former Norwegian America liner that was operating cruises for Cunard and had a very Norwegian style in her interior appearance. And they also had two luxury yachts, Sea Goddess 1 and Sea Goddess 2. Carnival realized that passengers really didn't understand what the Cunard offering was, and so merged Cunard with Seaborn and moved the cruise ships across to the Seaborn fleet under new names. Vistafjord was retained but given a refurbishment and turned into Coronia, and so in 1999 Cunard had two British-based passenger ships, the Kiwi 2 and the Coronia, offering what was considered to be the, the most quintessential Cunard service, that British-based luxury that we know and love today. This is about the time when they started to change the way they advertised the company. It was advertised as the most famous ocean liners in the world. Announcements were being made for the launch of Queen Mary 2, and of course this brought a lot of interest. It was about this time that we saw the White Star service reintroduced. And what this comes down to is that nod to the quality of service that White Star Line was offering when it was a rival to Cunard, that high quality attentive service. And so in order to ensure that the quality on board the revitalized Cunard fleet was kept at its highest, the company created the White Star Academy. And this again, another play on words, is a nod to that quality of service that White Star Line offered passengers for all those years as a rival to Cunard. The White Star Academy, or completing the Academy, means that you have been correctly trained in the Cunard way of doing things on board the passenger ships that they're operating, and you then get the White Star pin because you're offering White Star service, which was, for most of history, considered to be one of the highest levels of service that you could get on passenger ships. So next time you're on board a Cunard ship and you're wondering why the crew are wearing White Star pins and talking about White Star service, and yet you're traveling on a Cunard ship, now you know. It's all down to the fact that Cunard and White Star merged in the 1930s, thanks to the Great Depression, and with Carnival's acquisition of Cunard, they brought back the White Star branding, which Cunard still owned after all those years. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found the video interesting. And until next time, I hope to see you on board.